Hello and welcome back to the We Are City channel for our episode 3 of our Mikel Arteta managerial career mode with Arsenal. We are doing pretty well, um, I think anyway, into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Fourth in the Premier League, we're looking like we might win the Premier League, weren't we, right at the start. That's not going to be the case, Liverpool are running away with it at the top. Us and Chelsea should go above West Ham, although we do play Chelsea at the start of this episode. We have won the Carabao Cup and we are into the semi-finals of the FA Cup as well. Could get to the finals. Lots to happen in today's episode. Well, Gabriel Martinelli did get injured in the last episode, and he is out for around three to four weeks. 21 years of age, 85 rated. What a player, by the way. So, so skilled from the game as well, but he is going to be out for quite a while. Hopefully, we'll have him back before the end of the season, possibly for that FA Cup semi-final, but it's pretty unsure yet whether he will be back for that game. We welcome Chelsea to the Emirates and we kicked it off with a 1-1 draw in today's episode in the Premier League. A goal from Darwin Nunez again in the 10th minute, then Lukaku in the 17th. And unfortunately, Bakayo Saka picked up a red card for two yellow cards. Both of us in and around West Ham and Liverpool, the top of that table, I think we'll both stay in the top four by the end of the season. And it's Champions League quarter-final second leg time. You can see here Borussia Dortmund have knocked out Juventus so they're into the semi-final. Liverpool have knocked out Spurs. It's between Real Madrid and PSG and us and Bayern Munich and we do have a one goal advantage but three away goals that's going to be a big thing for Bayern to pick up but I don't underestimate Bayern Munich at all they could easily come here and smash us at the Emirates well the Emirates Stadium where Bayern Munich have a wonderful record Arsenal versus Bayern Munich Bayern Munich 3-2 down in aggregate but that doesn't mean this tie is over Bayern will come here Full force, full throttle, won't they, to take us on. I believe Serge Gnabry is back in the starting line with them. Leroy Sané as well. Lewandowski through the middle. We miss Martinelli, which is a big miss. And Granit Xhaka comes in for the tied years. Basuma. Big game. Massive game. Could we reach the Champions League semi-final this season? Into Erdegaard. Into Nunez. Nunez. Nunez! Oh, save by Manuel Neuer. Kamara, Brozovic, Kamara again, Serge Nabry, whip in here, Ramsdale the punch, oh Saka caught out, Thomas Muller with a chance, and Bayern take the lead in the game, 3-3, as it stands we're still going through and away goals, Cat's in Thomas Muller but Saka's got to get his foot through that and get it away, punch by Ramsdale, Kamara, well played. Good pressing from Bayern Munich. And Thomas Muller, I mean, from that sort of range, right on the edge there of Ramsdale's goal. Come on now. Here's Kimmich. A little flick by Phil on Mendy. And there was Smith Rowe. Again, Bayern win it back on the edge of the box. Chance for Muller. And Muller makes it 2 0. Or is it Marcelo Brozovic? I think it's Brozovic, the Croatian. And as things stand, Bayern Munich are going through. Well, they have come and brought the game to the Emirates, haven't they? I thought they would. I mean, getting caught out there is poor from Smith Rowe. I mean, how are we supposed to stop that finish? I don't know. <sighs> We're 2-0 down. Well, I expected this the way the first leg would go. We actually went and won there. But we need to do that again today. But this tie's not over, but... <sighs> Surely we don't throw it away from a 3-2 advantage. Need to come out second half. Grab a goal. A goal changes this time massively. It really does. Arsenal nil. Bayern Munich 2 at half time. Tommy Asu there with him. Muller. Then why with the foot in? Nabry. Brozovic. Kimmich. Beautiful. Brozovic. Serge Nabry and we're 3-0 down. What are we doing? Wakonga for party. Why not? Take the risk. Partey has been terrible. 3-0 down to Bayern here. Like I said, they've got a wonderful record at the Emirates, but I'd never expected this. Lewandowski into Gnabry. And he scores. We need to get 3-2 now. We've got to get two goals and take it to extra time. 5-3 down in aggregate. And torn apart by Bayern. Absolutely torn apart by a world, world class side. Nunez. Of course, every player has legs. As in legs that run quickly at players. Smith Rowe. Udegaard with a chance. A good save by Neuer. That was good football. Gabriel. Back into Udegaard. 
Conga in acres of space there, and we found him. And Samuel Conga is playing Luka Jovic. And Luka Jovic makes it 3 1. Brilliant goal from Luka Jovic. Back in this. What a ball by Lukonga, by the way. What a ball by Lukonga. And Jovic with the power. Fires it past Manuel Neuer. That's a lifeline. One more goal. We're going to extra time. Header. Wide the post. And that is full time. Arsenal won by Munich 3. We were out the Champions League at the quarter final stage. 5-4 in aggregate for the German champions. And we're disappointed. We're disappointed to say the least. But we're building some here at Arsenal. Arteta definitely is building some. And we will be back next season. We will be back next season to go again. Perhaps even win the Premier League. Two seasons we overachieved with Xavi when we said we needed three seasons. Perhaps we can do that in two seasons with Arsenal as well. Out of the Champions League though. In the quarter-final stage. We've sort of stepped our foot off the gaffs in the Premier League. And that is costing us. We're down in sixth position here on 58 points. Chelsea above us on goal difference and Manchester United, Aston Villa and West Ham all above us by one point. Definitely tight there in the round of the top four. I still believe we can get it. We just need to get some positive results over the next few fixtures. We pick up a 3-1 win away from home to Norwich, Jovic, Smith Rowe and Jovic with a double to give us three points. And another win in the Premier League, it is Sambi Lakonga and Bakayu Saka to give us a 2-1 win over Leeds United at home. Well, another chance to win silverware and we've got to go out there and do the business today. Manchester City are the side we meet in the FA Cup semi-final. Last time these, these two sides met, I believe it was a late Alexis Sanchez goal that put Arsenal through to the final of the FA Cup. This time, no Alexis Sanchez, but possibly Darwin Nunez Luka Jovic that will score that winning goal against a very good Manchester City side. So live from Wembley Stadium, it is Emirates FA Cup semi-final time. Arsenal face Manchester City, two sides that have been in this position before against each other. Arsenal came up out on top that time. Can we do that again? It is absolutely essential we do something in the FA Cup since we're not going to win the Premier League, we're not going to win the Champions League. The other semi-final between Bristol City, who've knocked out Manchester United and Leicester City, they face Chelsea. This is going to be an interesting semi-final. Luka Jovic, a hat-trick in this competition last time he played. Bernardo Silva looking at Phil Foden, a good foot in by Ben White and clears it up to Luka Jovic. Jovic into Odegaard and cancelo has gone forward giving us space in behind there and here's Martin Odegaard. And Odegaard, Odegaard tried to put it across the box, good defending. Partey, Cancelo will read that one will he? No. Odegaard gets a chance, it's another brilliant block at the back for Manchester City. I think it's Stefan de Vrij they've signed. Cross comes in here. Ben White rises. His false nine role he's struggling with. And his for Kevin De Bruyne. Ben White with a good nick on it. Still through to Phil Foden. Rams there with a save. Tommy Asu. Scared of putting his own net. Ends up leaving it. He's gone for a corner. Great skill from Foden. De Vrij. Stefan De Vrij again. Foden. Bernardo Silva, Foden, Gabriel Jesus, 1-0 Manchester City. Off the near post and in for Gabriel Jesus. Good finish, good goal. Good goal for Manchester City. Both drawn out to Foden here. Lovely turn and pass and Jesus who usually misses from there. Those sort of range. Off the post. Into the back of the Arsenal net. Oh, his touch lets him down there. Good ball from Tierney. And that is half-time in the FA Cup semi-final. Manchester City lead by one goal to nil against Arsenal here. They've just not been at it. They've just not been at it enough. Foden's magic to find Jesus is what separates us. We need our bit of magic, don't we, before the 90 minutes are up. Great energy from Bernardo. City in a dangerous position here as Kevin De Bruyne makes it 2-0. Well, you don't take your chances, you're punished. And we are punished. Kevin De Bruyne with a second. And that looks like the FA Cup semi-final won't be going our way. Brilliant from Jesus. Finds De Bruyne. Ramsdale can't save that one. Jesus, Bernardo, Tommy Asu should win that. Doesn't do. Ben White can't win it. Foden. Raheem Sterling. What a save, Ramsdale. Sterling. Well, 76 minutes gone. It feels like game over already. 
Sterling. Through to Phil Foden. What a finish. Oh, my word. Saka's coming off. Does this even feel like a 3-0 game? Doesn't to me. They've had three chances and scored all three. It shows we've got a long way to go, haven't we, to reach the levels of Manchester City and, and Liverpool. Ball through to Erdegaard. He can't finish his chance. Going through the middle. Oh, nasty challenge. Raheem Sterling to Kevin De Bruyne for 4-0 Manchester City. It hurts because what can we do? Incredible. Incredible from Manchester City. They're so lethal. We tried to foul Foden here. Sterling pulls it back to De Bruyne. He smashes it past Ramsdale to make it 4-0 in the FA Cup semi-final. Turks here. Oh, De Bruyne's already on the yellow card. Second yellow for KDB and he's off. He's off, Kevin De Bruyne. Well, couldn't he do that at 0-0? 4-0, I don't think it's going to make much difference for us. He's got to score that. Foden, full-time. FA Cup semi-final ends in defeat. We're not going to the final. It'll just be the one trophy we get this season, which is the Carabao Cup. Pep Guardiola shakes his former apprentice, Mikel Arteta's hand. It wasn't a 4-0 game. The scoreline has absolutely flattered them. And I'm just so disappointed with that. Well, we need to pick up the points in the running now at the Premier League. 64 points, we're on in fourth position. Champions League, you know, qualification is crucial. And we face our North London rivals, Spurs, who are down in ninth place next. We have Manchester United as well before the end of the season. They're the two big ones to keep us in the top four. So North London derby time at the Emirates. And this is crucial for our uh, Champions League qualification. A defeat here to Spurs and then a few weeks later, a defeat to Manchester United. I think we'll win the other games in between. It is massive, so we need to get a win here against Antonio Conte Spurs. Down in ninth. I don't know why they've been so poor this season. Harry Kane, Son, Lucas Moura, clearly not working well together for whatever reason. I just hope Arsenal don't sack us. Nunez. Oh, Turks are here. Into Darwin Nunez. What a save by Lloris. And our top goal scorer can't score. And Dombele. Kill. Good skill. Kane. Oh, Kane past Saliba. Ben White slides in. What a challenge by Ben White. What a challenge. Erdegaard. Past Savic as well, Erdegaard. Erdegaard. Nunez. Oh, turn your back, Nunez. He tried it, and that is half time in North London derby. Spurs nil, Arsenal nil. All over Spurs, but cannot capitalise. And we saw that against Bayern in a way. We saw it definitely against Manchester City. Luckily, Spurs aren't Manchester City and don't punish us. Emerson. One thing in his mind that's to get the ball. In around here, Hill. Xhaka dives in. Rodri with a chance. Young Minson set up, and Spurs score. And it's so annoying. Brilliant goal. Goal for Spurs. Young Min Son scores. We might not even get top four at this rate. Good goal by Young Min Son. Misuma. Saka. Darwin Nunez. What a strike from Nunez on the volley. Pick that ball up, Nunez, because we want a three points. We want our three points in the North London derby. What a ball by Saka. Finally, a little gap opens in the Spurs defence. And Darwin Nunez. He's there to pounce on it. First time volley. What a finish. What a finish. What a finish from Nunez. Watches that all the way. 1-1. One, one. 81 minutes. Let's go, Arsenal. Tomiyasu. Jovic. Nunez! Oh, it was behind him by Luka Jovic. Good play. Nunez is running his legs off here. Harry Kane. Hill. Oh, Saliba. Clear was involved for the first goal to Harry Kane. And Harry Kane in the 91st minute gives Spurs the win. Something's got to change in this Arsenal side, hasn't it?
Just so annoying. So annoying. What a hit from Harry Kane. And Arsenal are 2 1 down here. He's 10th of the season. Just so annoying. Full time. A 2 1 defeat to Spurs. We've hit rock bottom here in this career mode. Out of the Champions League, out of the FA Cup, possibly out of the top four with that defeat there to Antonio Conte Spurs. Arteta is going to be under big pressure. Big, big pressure going into the last few games. Well, that defeat to Spurs left us down in fifth position. Although a game in hand on Chelsea and Manchester United, or, Ch or Manchester United anyway, can push us back up to that top four. We have United to play as well before the end of the season. That is a crucial game. So a 3-0 win away from home at Wolves. Goals from Tierney, Gabriel and Luka Jovic give us three points, get us back into the top four. And a 3-2 win at home against Burnley. Martinelli is back and he's on the score sheet. Him and Darwin Nunez and Bakayo Saka get the goals. McNeil could not change Burnley's fate. Three points here at the Emirates but still under massive pressure in our job. So two games left in the Premier League season, one against Bristol City, which we obviously are going to win, I expect, in the last day of the season, but one before that against Manchester United. We are in third place with 70 points, but a win for Manchester United would put them into the top four and knock us out of it. We've got to win. We've got to beat Manchester United today. No excuses. They come to the Emirates. We have to win. We have to win. So a must-win game in the second to last game of the Premier League at the Emirates. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. The winner here will probably get top four in Champions League football next season. The fierce rivalry between the two sides. One of them has got to win, one of them has got to lose. A draw is no good for either one. Three points is big and three points is necessary. Last time we played here we lost 2-1 to Spurs in the last minute. We cannot be doing that here today. We've got to put in our best performance we possibly can do. Into look. Basuma. Oh, brilliant. Erdegaard. Nunez. Martinelli with a strike. It is a block by Rafa Varane. The pressure, Ronaldo. What a ball. Kapari. What a touch. Kapari. Good, good goalkeeping from Ramsdale. Martinelli. Here is Tierney. Into Martin Erdegaard. What a save by David De Gea. What a save by David De Gea. Nearly made a mistake on it. Nunez. Unlucky. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Ramsdale, you clown. Oh, Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel. Tierney, Nunez off the post, off the post from Darwin Nunez. Oh, my word. We know where this is going, don't we? Capari, Bruno Fernandes, Capari again. Bruno, Ronaldo, you just know it's going there. 1-0 Manchester United. just know it's going there. 1-0 Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo with a tap in. Brilliant play from Arsenal. Nunez hits the post. Up the other end. Capari into Bruno. Bruno into Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a tap in. It's a good ball actually into Bissouma. Martinelli. Tierney who's fantastic. Nunez. Udegaard. Udegaard on the rebound. Well he tried his best to miss it didn't he? But Martin Erdegaard scores and City are back in it. Arsenal anyway, City are back in it. I'm so used to playing in Manchester City, I forgot that I'm Arsenal. Crossing by Tierney. Oh, it was blocked on the line by Rafa Varane, by the way. David De Gea didn't save that. Varane makes a ridiculous block. Luckily, it falls back to Martin Erdegaard. And Arsenal take the lead here. And that is half-time. Manchester United won. Arsenal won, similar to the Spurs game. It's all level. We don't want another late goal conceded. We want a winner. We're desperate for a winner here. Maybe Martin Erdegaard is the man to get it. Paul Pogba wins it back off Martinelli. Needed a bit of skill rather than a bit of physical battle because he's not beating Paul Pogba there. Ronaldo. What a ball to Gerard Bowen. Oh my word. We're 2 1 down. What a ball to Gerard Bowen. But why is Basuma not with him? I know he's just made a long bursting run forward, but get back as well. What a ball by Capri. And what a finish by Gerard Bowen. Over to Martinelli. 
Martinelli. Nunez! Nunez on the rebound. What a goal from Arsenal 2-2. Brilliant goal from Darwin Nunez. Our top goal scorer this season. Ball over from Martinelli. He just beats the hair to it. And I'm thinking Wambasaka's going to come and tackle him. Darwin Nunez composes himself. And he puts it in the back of the net. I'd, I'd be interested to see how many goals he scored this season, Darwin Nunez. It really would. 2-2. 61 minutes. This game is still on here. Luka Jovic. Jovic over the top to Martinelli. Good ball. Martinelli. Martinelli, good save by De Gea. On the rebound, De Gea punched it away with Lindelof as well. Nunez in for the support. Luka Jovic. Martinelli. Kirintini. Kirintini. Jovic. Mikhail Saka with a strike. Saved by De Gea. And then caught by David De Gea. Ronaldo. In behind to Alanga. Gabriel with a good challenge. Long by us, and that is full time. Manchester United get a 2 2 draw at Arsenal at the Emirates. I don't know what that means for finishing top four. Possibly a win in the final day will keep us in the top four. Need a win here, though, against our rivals. They need a win against us. And we should have got it. We should have got it. Our Tetas players have let him down once again. In the final game of the season, we go away to Bristol City, who have been relegated to win 1 0, which hopefully confirms our place in next season's Champions League. So this is how the Premier League table finishes. Liverpool finish top on 85 points. Somehow Steven Gerrard's Aston Villa get into second with 80 points. We finish third on 74. And Manchester City sneak into the top four with 73 points. Chelsea fifth, United sixth, West Ham seventh, who were second at one point. Wolves eight, Spurs nine, Newcastle tenth. The sides relegated were Norwich, Bristol City and Bournemouth. And the top goal scorer in the Premier League was Mane with 24, Son with 23, but Darwin Nunez did get 21 goals in 30 appearances for us. So our most used player of the full season was Martin Erdegaard, who's 91 rated now, played 53 games. Tierney with 50 and Ben White and Saka with 49 each. Top in goals was Nunez with 32 goals this season. Jovic got 14, Erdegaard got 19, Saka 11, Martin Lee only 6, Partey got 7. And top in assists was Emil Smith-Rowe, 11. Erdegaard and Saka got eight between them. Partey, Martinelli got seven. And um, we're hoping that we don't get sacked, aren't we? So that ends today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, the players overall now, Martin Erdegaard, our highest rated player, is 91 rated. Tierney, Partey, 88. A close second place. So thanks for watching. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Join our Wear City membership club to see all these episodes unedited and also... Uh, in, in the gameplay I mean and also to see these episodes early and also please like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new we'll see you guys hopefully as Mikel Arteta in charge of Arsenal if we avoid being sacked next time